Why is the FDA putting this on your food? Now this is a pack of ground beef. As you can see, it's bright red and looks pretty fresh. Now that might make you think that this meat is safe and it's okay to serve your guests for dinner. But what if this meat was artificially gassed without your knowledge and it's been on the shelf for two weeks or more? Then there's a good chance that this meat is not safe for three reasons. One, a gas pack of meat can stay red for weeks, which can help hide harmful bacteria and pathogens. And when did carbon monoxide on meat become healthy? Secondly, if you serve your dinner guests three-week-old meat, they're all probably going to get sick and sue you. And three, the meat industry, including your favorite grocery stores like Walmart, Aldi, and Kroger, they always put profits ahead of consumer health. Now, industry methods like gassing meat to help keep the meat appear more fresh just isn't the same as fresh ground beef. The meat industry has been doing this for years, and here's why. For news tonight, when it comes to meat, the USDA seal is required to prove that the meat has been inspected by a federal agency. But what many consumers may not know is that some meat has actually been treated with carbon monoxide gas in order to keep it looking fresh for weeks. You look for steak that's bright red because it looks the freshest. But many supermarkets use a special gas in packages that keeps the meat looking fresh for much longer. The process is safe. The hell it is. Looks bright red and juicy, but this piece of meat is not safe to eat. Believe it or not, it's been sitting out for 11 days. Because it's not safe. And sometimes you just have to use your common sense. Is carbon monoxide good to breathe or do you need a carbon monoxide detector? It's not safe to eat either, guys. So how could it still look so fresh? It's because it's being packed and gassed in a special process that most people never heard about, using a harmless amount of carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen. Guys, it's totally harmless. There's no correlation to any of the major diseases of our time related to our diet and this gassing of meat or any of the other things that they do to our food. It's all just a coincidence sort of like safe and effective. How long through this process can you make a piece of meat continue to look bright to look, red? To look red, mm -hmm. long time. Three days. Two weeks, three weeks. If you thought gas meat was bad, wait until you see what else they're doing with your meat. This may make you think twice before you bite into that next chicken sandwich. When I saw this, I almost wanted to barf. Now take a look, he's cutting the meat, but that's not meat that he's cutting and he tosses into the trash can right here. So just wait for it. Wait for it, wait for it, and there, oh my gosh, that is disgusting. So folks, there you have it. That's what's in your meat. We're talking cyst and pus and cancerous growths, and you're taking that meat home and cooking it and eating it, and what do you think's going back into your body? Where do you think all these illnesses are popping up from or where they're stemming from? You do the math. It's best to know exactly where your meat comes from. So to stay on top of that and more topics that I cover, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and make sure that you ring the bell. I want to thank you guys for watching. Continue to prepare and as always, be blessed.